And you know what? Sometimes winter can be a tough sell. Yeah. You yeah. gotta be okay with being out in the cold. We're okay with being out in the cold because you brought drinks. It's so we're gonna make some <laughs> drinks. We're gonna make some hot drinks. We're gonna make some not hot drinks. Carson was saying, um, watch out when you're outside and drinking alcohol. What I heard was make sure you have it with a loaf of bread. Yes, like, have some sugar, have some carbs. I can't be outside That's without alcohol. I mean, I need That's these what things. He meant. I need rewards to yes. go outside. So and I will do anything if there's drinks involved. Absolutely, and, and it's going to keep you. It's going to warm you up. It's going to warm you up a little bit, right? So yeah. we're going to start with an espresso martini. I love this idea because we need the energy and we need the things going on. And yeah. so you know, a classic. This is actually really big in Australia. A little bit of ice. We're going to start with an ounce and a half of vodka. Mm-hmm. A little bit of espresso. Love espresso right. in any way, shape, or form I can get it. What's That's, that? That is just a touch of white chocolate liqueur. Oh, nice. Right? And then we're going to do a touch, just a squeezy squeeze of... Honey. Some honey, honey. Honey, honey sweetie. Come on. Just for a little bit of sweetness We should have had there. the little bear upside down. Oh, there, there, there it goes. There he goes. There he goes. There She's good. Go. Now, the secret to a really good espresso martini... Mm -hmm. You don't want to put that in? Which one's that? I don't know. No, we're okay. I think I had two espressos there. Okay. It just depends if you want a double shot or not. Okay, all right. That's <laughs> it might be that kind of day. Is it going to be a sure. late night? It will Do be the, the double espresso shot. because this will keep you up. <laughs> but you really got to shake it. You got to give it the onions, right? And so this is actually what's going to warm you up when you're outside. You're yeah. hanging out behind your ice bar. Shaking you it. You're going up and you shake yeah. it up. And then it's just crack it open. It's bubbly oh. goodness, man. It looks so good. Isn't that divine looking? Yeah. Right. So you know it's going to be rich. It's going to give you like a good little punch of flavor. You're sitting by the fire. It's you're having give you fun. a little bit of like a jolt because you're going to put some coffee oh, beans on top as a nice. garnish. It's a little crunch, a little smooth, a little this good time. This is for anyone who loves coffee like I do. I'm an addict. You can do all day this long. This is amazing. All day long. That's incredible. I used to have a shut off time, like 3 o'clock in the afternoon I right. shut off. But now I'm, I'm like, getting no, more tolerance. I think it comes with like <laughs> right? older age. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, what do we got in the middle? The classic hot chocolate just feel this pot put your hands on that oh it's nice and warm oh, it feels nice. good yeah. so a little bit of milk a lot of dark chocolate you can that go milk amazing. chocolate if you want but i kind of like the dark you yeah. mind holding on to that not at all and then we're just going to stir that up and i just put chunks of this in handfuls and handfuls of it in and it's okay if it doesn't oh quite gosh. melt in but you just kind of yeah i know you kind of like that right what is this is this so like is, is it baker's chocolate or? no that's a, a dark chocolate 58 mm. how is it very good right and mm -hmm. so a little bit of like um, milk in there, you melt it down. This is your standard hot chocolate. It feels good. Everyone likes being outside Beautiful. of that kind of stuff. But what we need to do is just kind of make it a little bit more randy. We're going to add some deep, dark Cabernet. I've never done, I've, I've never seen that. It's a little bit of red wine. What does that do though? It just makes adding, it delicious. And does it add a ri like a richness, it totally a depth to it? totally adds a richness and you taste like the hot chocolate in the beginning and then you get that tannins in the red wine in the end. Ooh. And you're like, what's up buttercup? And the best part is the kids can't drink it. Right, this is grown up hot chocolate This kids? is grown up, so it's not yours, it's sorry about that. So you can have two pots, right? Oh, and I mean, like, beautiful. if you can get like 10 ounces into you, yeah. this is going to keep you warm. How hot bubbly. do you think that is? What's that? Do you think I can sip it? Oh, yeah. Oh, totally. no, do your. Okay, no, no. you give it a sip first. first. Give it a first, because I don't want to make. Mm. Very good. Right? Because then you, you feel the kick mm. at the end. It's okay. just gorgeous. It's another flavor profile that you wouldn't oh necessarily get. Oh, my gosh. Get. I'm coming to your party. Yeah. Yes, right, sir. There. there we go. Oh, my God. Beautiful. Now, I used to Stunning. have this, like, I used to work construction when I was really young. Yeah. And I had this crazy foreman. And the hottest days in the summer, he would drink coffee. And I'd be like, you know, you're ridiculous. You can't be doing that. And he'd yeah. say, you know what? You're supposed to drink hot liquids on hot days. I've heard that. He's not crazy? Well, I've heard it before. It's not, it's, I wouldn't do it. No, no. But... I would drink cold liquids on cold days. So, okay, you would ask. Uh. So, you know what? <laughs> you know, we've got the Keurig dual brew here. Yeah. And it does, like, all kinds of stuff. It's got the big pot, and then it's got the single ones, too. You can also do hot chocolate with the hot chocolate pods there. Oh, cool. But I think the reason why people don't use pot coffee anymore is because they can't drink the entire pot. Right. So, what do you do with the leftovers? You know what? You make iced coffee the next day. Yes. So, you just take it, a little bit of ice. We take some vanilla. Hi, how you doing? Oh, that's nice. Punching that's up the sweet. flavor. Some cinnamon. Mm. Shaky, shaky. A little bit of, you know. A little bit of maple syrup. A little bit of maple a syrup. Bit the love. And just a touch, a touch of cream. Oh, that's nice. Right? So you're gonna have like you're gonna have a rich coffee drink, and I I love I know why iced coffees are so popular. Why? It just gives you 
another excuse to drink a coffee. So like you're done having your morning warm beverage yes. and then it is around three o'clock and you want more coffee and you're like, well, it's just gonna be a cold brew. There are still those nice days coffee. when I love having a nice coffee right in the get-go. Oh, you, know, you do, you, huh? Yeah, and so if I do a pot and I have leftover, yeah. I just throw it in the fridge the next morning, I get this going on and we do this. There's some mornings oh, you wake beautiful. up really thirsty, Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> you just need to slam back an iced coffee. It Listen, does happen. The drinks, phenomenal. Give it up for Thank Randy. That was incredible. Thank you. Um, but I also want to mention the thing that the drinks are on. Like this is a, an incredible, this is all ice, everybody, yes. which is amazing. I love this bar. It's by Ice Boy. They carved it out for us. Now they create custom ice sculptures for any event. Um, the perfect way to showcase whatever you have going on at your outdoor party. We are celebrating the season, everyone. 